There's a trucking problem in the US right now. Businesses are saying there's a shortage of drivers caused by, well, a whole host of reasons. But it's resulting in empty shelves in some supermarkets. To solve the shortage, one group estimates that the industry needs to hire an additional 80,000 drivers. But at the same time, autonomous trucking companies like Aurora and Embark are saying that their driver-less technology is right around the corner and could even get here before fully autonomous taxis. I think that autonomous trucking has a much clearer path to market, both technically and as a commercial product. We're working to launch the product commercially at the end of 23. So could driverless trucks arrive in time to solve the truck driver shortage? And could they eliminate the need for truck drivers altogether? To get a better idea of how the technology may fit into the market, I caught up with Aurora and Embark in early November, as the companies were making their stock market debut. Let's get into it. First, I want to demonstrate why you might see a fully autonomous truck on the highway before you see a fully driverless taxi in the street. And that's partly because highway driving can be less complex than inner city driving. In the city, I have to constantly indicate, look left, look right, accelerate, mind that bike, check mirrors, watch that car, brake, watch out for that man. But on the highway, life can be a little bit simpler. What makes it easier is that you're able to tackle those problems in a much more structured setting. You know, if you think about a mile of freeway in Texas versus a mile of freeway in Arizona, the traffic on it mostly behaves the same way. Whereas in urban driving, when you go from one block in San Francisco to five blocks away from there, the traffic can look very different and behave very differently. Driverless trucks also don't have to convince paying passengers that the vehicle is safe enough to hop on board. But I'm not saying truck driving is easy. I've been speaking to my colleague, Jennifer Smith, who covers logistics about some of the challenges that autonomous truck driving faces. The idea of a truck, a big rig, loaded with freight, with no driver behind the wheel, hurtling down the road at 55 plus miles per hour, can tend to give people pause. Aurora and Embark told me that safety is a big part of the reason why their technology is yet to be released into the wild. You need to have all those pieces running together and reliability tested. The companies have been racking up test miles though by operating a fleet of trucks with support drivers along highways. Even if these companies can demonstrate that their autonomous trucks are safe, right now US states aren't aligned over how those trucks can operate. The regulations are a bit of a patchwork in, in the US. Different states allow different things. So it's possible to, to sort of cobble together a route that you could haul freight on. A lot of folks are hauling freight in between Arizona and Texas. If we had a truck that we were confident in the safety of, we believe we could launch that in 45 of the 50 US states. In order for these autonomous trucks to travel across America, they'll need alignment across the states in which they travel through. One of the things we look forward to is seeing the state by state rules start to harmonize. But that's not all. Separately, there's the issue of how federal highway safety regulators will be treating this. Until these companies figure out those legislative and safety hurdles, it's unlikely that they'll make much of an impact on the current US truck driver shortage. But what about when they do solve those challenges? What does that mean for non-autonomous truck drivers? You know, the human ones. Well, to begin with, autonomous trucks could take over long haul routes, which often present the most gruelling conditions for drivers. You're spending a lot of time on the road away from home and you're basically living in a tin can that's smaller than a suburban bathroom. Operating autonomously from hub to hub could also redefine what a driver's normal day to day looks like. Maybe this driver could handle shorter runs and get home more often. We turn it into a job where you work a regular shift and then you go home to your family. But as Aurora say they plan to take on shorter routes in the future, are those drivers still going to be able to find work in the long term? Well, it's likely. The bulk of US trucking is made of a fragmented market of smaller fleets with low margins. So even if robo trucks do appear on the highways, carriers will still have to be able to afford them. So the sheer demand for truck drivers and goods on our shelves means that in the future, it's likely that man and machine will both have a role to play. Hey, autonomous trucks may be a few years away, but if you want to know what's happening with truck drivers right now, check out this video made by my colleagues Emma Scott and Todd Johnson. I've left the link below. And as always, if you're interested in the future of how we might be getting from A to B, then don't forget to subscribe. See you later.